Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for all the Moon and Rising Aquarians. I'm going to say thank you for being here, thank you for being back. It is a wonderful week, it is the week of the 20th, the 20th week of the year 2017. And the week begins from the 15th until the 21st. Congratulations to you guys, because your sister sign, the Geminis, are starting their zodiac birthday on the 20th of may so from the weekend you guys are going to really start feeling very good this is a wonderful time this is um the energy vibration readings are helping a lot of people to bring forth positive energy in their lives i want to say thank you to all your aquarians who have left a message behind and please leave positive messages so that when other people read it it can leave them with a positive insensitive and positive feelings for them okay as we look at your week it's going to be a wonderful week we have the energy of the ace new ones coming in um you know as i've always said i'm changing up my readings every week i change up the way the readings is done because we bring in good energy vibration okay all right this is i love this spread i wish if you guys could see the spread but i don't have the time to take the pictures i always say to each and every person please like share these videos thumbs up if you're a new um, subscriber thank you for coming welcome please share these videos so that other subscribers will come in and i want to say to each and every person thank you for being here it's going to be a wonderful week enjoy it's very important this week I'm getting the energy of uh, um, bringing in different sort of energy with focus. Um, the week is an earth energy week and the earth energy week I view the energy of the Empress. The energy of the Empress is some wonderful, wonderful energies that I personally like because I'm a hurt time and she is so wonderful. Whenever she comes in, it's, it's here. she is protecting you and she's bringing new energy vibration and this is going to be wonderful so the hurt energy is the energy of the empress i love it the empress the tree and she has a three in there in the moon which is the tree of life or put the moon as your intuition so it's always wonderful so this is the energy vibration for the week your focus in this week is on you know the sun of the sword the sun of the sword. So here we are. Um, the sun of the sword is your own energy vibration. So it can have to do with people who have kids who are between the ages of zero and 18. Zero and 18. Maybe there's a situation with your kids that you need to focus on. So your focus in this week and for the kids who are zero to 18 who is listening to these energy vibration and you are a star seed person and be aware that certain aspects and certain things is going to start connecting with you, okay? So I'm having this energy for the people who are focused. For other people, this is your own energy vibration. Be aware of what is happening and be aware of people who are trying to create common, um, chaos. And if you're the person who are trying to create chaos, be aware of what you give out because so shall you receive. As we move on, and we're going to look at the week first, I'm going to express what is happening in the days. I just so love, love this card, and it is actually the Six of Wands. Good news is coming in to you guys. Good news. So this news that is coming in, this can be good news about materialistic things, um, not only materialistic things, but and nurturing everything that you're looking if you wanted to get um, um, pregnant um, the, the sign of fertility is in this week which is just so grand this is just so wonderful it's giving you a wonderful energy vibration which is just so powerful okay so this is extremely good for you guys so whatsoever is happening it's going to be a positive positive day on monday for you guys as we look at tuesday we also have another positive energy I'll be at the energy vibration of two, four, six, eight, nine of cups. And energy of nine of cups is always wonderful. I love these cards. I am so grateful for whoever came up with the ideas to make these cards. I love these cards. It brings up such a strong energy vibration that is coming off these cards. These the, the, the nine of cups is all your wishes and dreams are coming out. So it's going to be a lot of success for a lot of people, but yet still, it's going to be a sense that 
I am where I need to be. I am where I need to be. I, I really love where I am. I wanted to be where I am. This is helping me. This is supporting me. I finally just get, get in my wishes and dreams, which is wonderful because um, whenever we find the place and see the success and see that all that we have done in our life, for some people it's going to be the success of you overcoming certain aspects of your things and, and new things, better things are coming out in your life. But it's all about achievement on Tuesday. So whatever you are achieving on a personal level, on a mental level, on a spiritual level, it's going to be a wonderful day. As we move forward and we go forward to the middle of the week, we have the energy vibration of the Father of Swords. So you guys are so prominent in your reading, the Father of Swords. Who could ever depict the Father of Swords with this um, um, <laughs> photo? Because the Father of Swords energy is just the energy vibration of you guys. So in the middle of the week, you're going to come up and have this, this wish but be careful of what you say to people because words have and carry an energy vibration and you should be aware. This father sorts at the situation with the organization. So be aware of it and be aware of what you said to these people because it can have an effect on you. Okay? Be aware. As we move on, on Thursday, whatsoever is happening on Thursday, it is, it is a grand thing because... On Thursday, we have the energy vibration of the Ten of Cups and um, the Ten of Cups and the Eight of Cups. So, whenever these, whenever this happened to me and I'm doing a reading, I just use all two because there's a message that the guides want you to know. The Ten of Cups was the first card, so it has to do with your family. What's the situation with your family? For some people, it's going to be your family. For some people, it's going to be a connection with the work floor. For some people, it's going to be a connection with your sports school or your group, whatever group you're affiliated to. You're walking away from it. You are walking away from it for whatever reason. I'm not sure whatever is going on with you. You're walking away from this energy. And by walking away from this energy, you're going to perform and, and bring out something much better in your own life. There is a situation that is going on with you, Aquarians, and uh, um, there is a situation that has to affect the organization and these group of people. And it used to be a happy group of people. The thing about it is that the Ten of Cups are not in the reverse forms. They are just there. But um, they're walking away from it because you have the Eight of Cups, and the Eight of Cups is walking away. And these two cards came up with this first and then the Eight of Cups. So, Whatever is going on on Tuesday, evaluate the situation before you decide to make a decision about the situation because it might affect you. Okay, as we move on, we're looking at Friday, and Friday we have the energy vibration of the Ace of Pentacles. Love this. Love this for you guys. So what's the is happening? There is going to be an healing of your financial situation, but yet still there's going to be a healing of your health also. And um, this is a, 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 it's as if the universe is blessing you with financial abundance in a huge way, okay? And whatever, whatever is happening and how you look at it, the universe is coming in because the energy vibration of the week is uh, the energy of the Empress, and you have on Monday the six of wands. So this was the good news that was coming in on Monday about your financial situation, and this is going to be extremely, extremely good. Okay, so the Ace of Pentacles comes on Friday, so the Ace of Pentacles, uh, yes, your financial situation is going to change for whoever who was having a financial situation that was out of bounds. It's going to change and this is going to be beautiful. I know you guys don't like my glasses, but <laughs> anyway, we're going further and now I read the cards and see what's on them. Mother of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. So on Saturday we have the energy of the Mother of Pentacles. So the Mother of Pentacles is the Queen of Pentacles. So as it says, the Mother of Pentacles. Mother of Pentacles is a wonderful energy. I 
um, find this to be an extremely wonderful um, energy because whatsoever is happening, some people are going to um, be, uh, you know, the Mother Pentacles is going to be justified over something, and for some people, you are going to justify with the Mother Pentacles. So, if this is an earth sign person, so whatsoever is happening because um, you have gone with the swish in the organization and this organization organization the Arabic is always the energy vibration of um, an earth energy because it is bringing balance to something in your life and what you have done the you um, justice has come so the, the the queen of Pentacles have justified um, and is yeah have justified over something that you have done so whatever has happened with you and the Queen of Pentacles, she has justified over you because whatsoever has happened with a situation, a financial situation, she has justified it. She's going to, you know, she is going to be really receive this money. And suddenly you have this Eight of Pentacles, and this is wonderful because whatsoever you're working on, the energy vibration of the Eight of Pentacles is going to be a success. Okay, you don't have to ask, it's going to be a success. It has taken, taken longer than you would expect it. But to remember that nothing comes before it but time, and it's going to be an extremely success. So be aware of who you are, at what stage you are in your life. Understand this newness that is coming in. Okay, understand the newness that is coming in. As I look at your reading in general form, there's going to be a message for some people, and it depends again, people, it depends on the energy vibration you vibrate in. Because if you do um, negative things to, to people, and you do things that are not just to other people, do not expect that uh, these beautiful blessings that comes in a week, that it's going to affect you. Because whatever you give out, this is what you receive. So on Monday, the Six of Pentacles comes in, which is just so wonderful, so brilliant, and it is telling you that something, materialistic things and gifts are going to come into your life. On Tuesday, you have the energy of the Six of Cups, and this is saying your wishes and dreams are going to come through. On Wednesday, you, and this is the effect on Wednesday of people who are over the ages of 30, um, 30 to uh, onwards, 30 and plus, okay? And you're going to go out and speak out to, um, to someone in an organization of that sort of thing. Be careful what you do because it can have an effect on one. This is a message that is coming out. On Wednesday, on Thursday, you have the energy vibration of the Ten of Cups and then the Eight of Cups on top of it. That means you have connected your family situation. You're walking away from something in your family. And this something that you're walking away from, it is going to have an effect because it's going to help to heal your financial situation. So if you have a family situation that you have been dealing with, and you're going to walk away from it on Friday, you're going to see that your financial situation is going to be healed. Um, in the weekend, you have the Mother of Pentacles, and you have the Eight of Pentacles. So this is wonderful. So for some people, um, a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn person, and it's a Taurus woman who is going to come in and help you um, with your financial situation, and help you, um, whatever you're working on, she's going to come in and help you, and this is going to bring you new beginnings. So the energy vibration of the Six of Wands that you got on Monday is telling you that someone of the Taurus, the energy vibration of the Taurus woman is going to come in and she is going to help you to uh, manifest your financial abundance and this is going to be a new place in your life. I am working with a conscious spirit. I'm sorry guys, I need you to understand and I'm working with all these strange cards that you think what is good and I want to ask the conscious spirit once it's here for the Aquarius in the week of the 20th. Yeah, it's all right. I have to put my glasses on. Okay, what do we have in the week of the 20th? We have the energy of the moon goddesses and this is called number 41 so it's the, the number 5 energy. Um, 4 and 1 is 5. 
So you have the number five energy, which is going to be transit, um, transformation changes with your money aspect. And you have nine, one, eight. And your number is going to be the number five energy, okay? The number five energy. And what does she say? She say, I am in um, the harmonious flow with the moon energy and all phases of my life. I am in the harmonious flow with the moon's energy and all phases of my life. And each time that I bring up this affirmation, I would like that you guys write it down because you can always use it when you feel that you're missing something in your life. So this is the number 41 card, the moon goddesses. Yes, they're all goddesses, goddesses for everything. And the moon goddesses is here for you guys in this week. So use the energy of the moon goddesses. Write this affirmation off. I am in harmonious flow with the moon energies and all phases of my life. Do that because what is going to happen is that you're going to see these changes happening in your life. So again, your number five, five is the energy vibration. Your focus is um, of the sun of sword, the sun of sword energy is your focus in this week. So again, for the people who have kids who are between the ages of zero and 18, please be aware and check and be aware of what is going on. All right. And I want to say, please subscribe to my channel, thumbs up, likes, and share these videos. Connect with me on catacon.com. It's below the video. And also via Clarity if you just want to have a, ask a question or just want to, you know, empty your heart about something. I want to say thank you for being here. And we'll talk next week. Namaste.